Hi hey YouTube, my name is Jurge, welcome back at Pro Herper. Today I'm very excited because I can introduce you to a new test and this time it's the Spider Complex test. So as you probably already know, Spider is a link to a lot of different morphs actually. So obviously Spider is in there, but there is also Spotnose for example, we know Bongo is there. Um, unfortunately we have been able to uh, find Hidden Geomoma and Cypress and Black Cat, but we know they're also out there, so we're still looking for them. We also have Wookie, we have Chocolate, we have Woma, and then finally uh, Champagne as well. Um, so a lot of different morphs that we will be adding to the website very very soon. And this is all thanks to Heather from Ball Python Genetics in Canada. So thanks a lot for that Heather. And the main question that so many people have been asking me, is Wookie and Chocolate, are they actually the same? So we've been trying to figure out in the past couple of weeks, months, validating a lot of different tests, a lot of different animals, and let's dive right into it. But first I will show you what a chocolate and what a wookie actually look like. So here we go. And so I'll first show you this female, and this is a Wookiee yellow belly clown female. And so I cannot do a direct comparison of Wookiee and chocolate because I don't have any example to show you. Um, this is a Wookiee clown combo. Uh, she's also yellow belly, which is I think quite obvious if you look at the belly. So very, very pretty animal. Um, so Wookiee has this, yeah, chocolate-like look. It looks quite similar, I would say, in some combos, but it can also look very different sometimes. And this is why, of course, we wanted to figure out whether or not it is the same genetically. And can you actually make the same combinations with it? And so... And so then we can compare her to this female. And this is a spot-nose chocolate female. Now, I don't necessarily know which chocolate line there is, so there are different lines. We have BHB, um, you have Bell, um, so there are multiple lines and I'm, I'm not sure which one this actually is. But this is a spot nose chocolate, uh, she's a female, she's, as you can see, already has some decent size. And so these chocolates have these nice and dark tones, same as Wookie, but it's, it's just slightly different. Um, but of course there's always variation and this is why um, yeah, we, we were wondering um, whether or not they are the same, actually. So, and now the news that you've all been waiting for is Wookie and Chocolate. Are they actually the same genetically? And the answer is, they aren't. So, this is quite unexpected. I think a lot of people would expect that Wookie and Chocolate are actually genetically identical, but this is not the case. What this means is, these are two different mutations in the same gene, so they are as different from each other as Spider is different from Wookie, or Spider is different from Chocolate, or from Champagne, or Spotnose, or all these different combinations, right? So they are very different from a genetic point of view, but they sometimes can still look very similar. And this is what we have here. So Spotnose looks very different from Chocolate, but Chocolate and Wookie, they kinda look similar, I would say, but in some combinations then they also look very different. So it always depends on the different combos that you're trying to make. But if you want to go for those really nice Pompeii looking animals, I would definitely recommend to work with Wookie. Um, because I think long term, I mean, I always have been blown away much more by the Wookie combos than by the chocolate combos. So I think if you have to choose between the two, I would definitely go for Wookie. Um, yes, they're maybe still a little bit more expensive, but I think it will be worth it long term. So, the final answer guys, you've all been waiting for and very exciting to be finally able to share this news. I think we will have some very other interesting facts coming up really soon to you guys and hopefully I will be able to share it in the coming weeks or months. And then I also have another test that we will add very very soon to the website and this is a sex test for colubrids. So if you have any 
uh, colubrid snakes. So colubrid snakes is basically anything but pythons and boas. So all other snakes can uh, be tested, or almost all of them. So if you're not sure, just shoot me a PM, but I will list on the website which ones you can test with this uh, shed sex test. And will be very, very uh, cheap compared to the other tests. It's a lot cheaper, it's a lot easier uh, to perform these tests in the lab. So this is why they're a lot cheaper. So they will be around 30 euros or they will be 30 euros. If you have more than 10, it will be 25. And if you have more than uh, 50, it will be 20. So two amazing new tests and I cannot wait to start adding a lot more and hope to speak to you guys very soon on one of those shows probably in September so talk to you guys next time and thanks a lot guys see you